Welcome back grade 11s. This is the fourth video and the second one on mixed examples that we are looking at. Um, it is also the last video in this series on frictional forces. The situation is as follows. The normal force exerted on a pram is 100 Newton. The pram's brakes are locked so that the wheels can't turn. The mother tries to push the pram, but it's not moving. She push, pushes harder and the pram starts moving when the applied force is three quarters of the normal force. After the pram started moving, the mother, mother can keep it moving by pushing with a force half of the applied force at which it started moving. It's always wise to draw a force diagram to try and represent the situation. So we will take it that there's a force applied And this force applied, we don't know what it is yet. Yet, there is a normal force on the pram. The normal force is 100 Newton. Before the thing starts moving, the static friction would be acting there and there is a weight, Fg. The pram's brakes are locked so the, that the wheels can't turn. The mother tries to push the pram, but she isn't, but it's not moving. She pushes harder. And this is where we have the situation. She's pushing harder. And when the moment she pushes harder, there is an FS max acting on the pram. And the pram starts moving when the applied force is three quarters of the normal force. So we have three quarters of a hundred newtons when the, the pram starts moving. So that is 75 newtons. After the pram started moving, the mother can keep it moving by pushing with half the applied force at which it started moving. So the second situation here is the normal is still 100 Newtons, but now the applied force is half of 75. Half of 75 would be 37.5 um, Newtons. Then the frictional force would be the kinetic friction. Obviously, the pram's, pram will have a gravitational force. Let's look at the questions. The magnitude of the applied force that started the motion. Oh, I've done that already. The F applied that started the motion is three quarters of the 100 newtons, so that would be 75 newtons. The second one, the coefficient of static friction, mu s, would be the ratio of the maximum static friction to the normal force. For the sake of space, I'm um, working along the horizontal line here. So Fs max would be the same as the applied force when the object starts moving. So it's 75 Newton divided by the 100 Newtons of the normal force, that's 0 0.75. And the third question here, the coefficient of kinetic friction. The coefficient of kinetic friction would be the ratio between the kinetic friction and the normal force. In this case, the object keeps moving uh, with a constant velocity when 
half of 75 is applied. So that is 37.5 would be the kinetic friction as well, because it keeps moving with a constant velocity. And the normal force is 100. So the kinetic coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.375. Right, hope you're happy with the way that the question was answered. May it help you. Thank you for watching.